Womanjika, Marambikbi, Bunarong, Nermde, Barupton, Ata Willem. Welcome to our beautiful home, the land of the two great bays. On the 21st of February, all Year 8 Aboriginal kids and Literacy kids went on a boat to Ricketts Point. Pelican One is a beautiful white boat that was going to take us out to Port Phillip Bay. When we went on the boat, we had to look around for a little bit. The bay was beautiful and peaceful. It was beautiful seeing the ocean's beauty and feeling the water. Auntie Carolyn talked about her story of the time of the chaos. I'm going to welcome you to a story, Time of Chaos. Many years ago, the land, the big, we now call Greater Melbourne, extended right out to the ocean, Warani. Nam, Port Phillip Bay, was then a large, flat, grassy plain. For the Bonwarang, this Warneet river was known as the Birurang, the river of mist. The Bonwarang were the custodians of their land, Birk. They obeyed the laws of Bunjil, who travelled as an eagle, and by Wan, who protects their waterways. One day, many, many years ago, there came a time of chaos and crisis. The Bonwarang and the other Kulin nation were in conflict. They argued, they fought. They neglected their land, the Bik. The native Murnong, Yam Daisy, was neglected. The animals were overkilled and not always eaten. The Garambrook, the fish, were caught during their spawning season. The ilk, eel, was not harvested. As this chaos grew, the Warani, the ocean, became angry and began to rise. The river, Warnit, became flooded and eventually the whole flat plain was covered in Barani, the water. The people became frightened and went to Bunjil, their creator, their spiritual leader. They asked Bunjil to stop the Warani from rising. Bunjil was angry with his people and told them that they would have to change their ways if they wanted to save their land, the Bic. The people thought about what they'd been doing and made a promise to follow Bunjil's laws. Bunjil walked out to the ocean, Warani, raised his chia, the spear, and directed the Warani, the ocean, to stop from rising. Bunjil then made the Bunwarang promise that they would respect the laws. Two promises, that they would obey the laws of Bunjil and not hurt the Bic, the land of Bunjil, and not harm the Bubups, the children of Bunjil. What I learned is to respect the land and the Barani. Barani means water. To think about the Beriranga, which means country. Warini, which means the sea and the ocean. To look after the Buck Buck, which means children. Today, the Warani, the river, that once flowed through this large flat plain, still flows under the Naram, the bay. Womanjika. As I sat on the edge and placed my feet in the water, sparks flew into my head. What a wonderful bay. I thought it was really great how that story was passed down 9,000 years of generations. It is amazing that she was passing on her knowledge to us so that hopefully we will pass it on throughout our lives so that the knowledge can be shared. The best part of the day is when I got the chance to go swimming in the Warani on Narim Bay.
When I was on the boat, I could feel the way the boat went through the water. The day was great. Only Carolyn's stories made me feel special and I wanted to hear more. I also learnt not to be shy or shame in front of people and to be free on my land. It was an honour to be asked to go on the boat and a great experience that will remain with me forever. At the end of the day I didn't want to leave the boat. <laughs>